Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 know all and I'm coming to you today to kind of talk about what it's like to be a Seattle Mariners fan. Now, I live in the Northwest. I actually live about two and a half hours away from Seattle, and I've lived in the same area all my life, minus a year that I lived in Missouri, and then 10 years I lived in Salem, but which is still Northwest and still close enough where I was able to go to Mariner games whenever I really planned ahead and felt like going. So I've been a Mariner fan all my life. One of my earliest baseball memories is being at the Kingdom, watching the Mariners when Alvin Davis was a part of the team. And so I have a lot of great memories, a lot of great um, parts of my history, baseball related, that connect to the Mariners. You know, my first home run ball that I ever got was at the Kingdom, um, at a game that my parents don't even know I went to. They were on vacation somewhere. It was my senior year of high school. I went up there and got a home run ball. I hope they don't see this. If they do, I'm almost 40. doesn't matter. But the Mariners haven't been in the playoffs since 2001. And to give you guys a little perspective on that, I graduated in 1999. So pretty much my entire adult life, minus like two years, I have never been able to watch my favorite team compete in the playoffs. In fact, one of my, one of my dreams is to be able to go watch playoff baseball a major league playoff game and i haven't been able to do that because my local team hasn't been in the playoffs in what 19 years uh they're not going to make the playoffs this year and they're probably not going to make it next year so that streak is going to continue on so i want to give you guys a little perspective of what it's like to be a fan here in the northwest and kind of give you guys a, a glimpse into our thoughts and what we're doing but guys, before we jump any further, can you go ahead and click like on down below? It helps out. Let this video be seen by more people. The more likes and comments and interactions it gets, the more that YouTube sends it out to other baseball fans. And guys, leave a comment down below on your team and if you've ever gone and seen playoff baseball. Because, uh, you know, I haven't and I'm going to live vicariously through you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help out and it lets you know when new videos come out. We're do, I'm doing videos pretty much every day, uh, sometimes twice a day. So by subscribing, you'll be able to know when those videos come out and check them out on when you want to. So guys, let's jump right back into this. Once again, being a Mariner fan, it kind of sucks. It's been rough. I grew up in an era of Ken Griffey Jr., Edgar Martinez, Randy Johnson, Jamie Moyer. Uh, I got to watch each row when he first started playing for the Mariners. Felix Hernandez, I've been able to see all these guys play in my lifetime. And, you know, growing up in like the 95 season, 96 season, 97, 98, when these teams were just winning, 2001, you know, having the most wins in the regular season, I got to be a, I got to be a fan during those times. And so that makes it even harder looking back this last almost two decades of what's going on. I haven't been able to really cheer on the team because... It's tough when your team doesn't win, doesn't really put a, a talented group on the field. Now, they've come close to the playoffs a few times in the last two decades. But once again, coming close and making the playoffs are two very different things. Uh, now, I'm sure many of you know, if you don't live in the Northwest, the Northwest, although it loves the Mariners, isn't the most baseball focused area in the country. Uh, once again, we only have one major league team here in the Northwest. I really hope that changes and we get a second one to really kind of help drive the excitement towards the game of baseball, whether it be in Portland or Vancouver, BC. Um, I prefer Portland because it's a lot closer to me. In fact, I can make it down there in probably about 45 minutes to a game. But at the same time, you know, the next closest team to us is San Francisco and, and Oakland. And that's, that's a little bit of a drive to get down there. So we only have one team to really to, to watch, to get excited about. And when they haven't made the playoffs in 19 years, there are college baseball players from the Northwest who have never seen the Mariners make the playoffs in their lifetime. And so it's hard to get excited for that, especially when you have the Seahawks who have won a Super Bowl, been to the Super Bowl, been one of the top teams in, in football year in and year out for the last you know, six, seven years. And so it's tough to you know, convince them that baseball is the sport to get excited about. So once again, Northwest isn't the most baseball enthusiastic uh, area right now because there just isn't a lot to get excited about, lots to get enthused about. And so it makes it tough. And then for like for like me, 
you know, I want to cheer on this team, but because of the way that they've underperformed and the way they've treated the fans, the last few years they've actually treated the fans pretty poorly uh, in a number of different ways, whether it be um, deciding to just completely cancel their fan fest events altogether um, because they would rather do a Christmas light thing on the field instead of a fan experience for the baseball team. Um, but that I'll have to make another video on that, explaining that. Probably bring Kelly in on that talk a little bit too, um, just because he's been to so many different fan fests. But it, it just it's tough to be a fan of the Mariners. It's tough to get excited. And right now they're in their rebuilding process. And so as a fan, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that this works. I'm hoping that these young prospects develop and become amazing, talented players and, and make all-star teams and drive this team to the playoffs. But I have to be honest with you, as much as I like some of the young prospects they have and the Mariners have some real talent in their minor leagues, I'm doubtful that this will make a difference. I truly think that the culture and the atmosphere of the Mariners has been so bad for so long that it's going to be a much harder uphill battle than people really realize. Uh, because even the players, you can see, don't believe they can win anymore. It's just the way the Mariners are. And just, it's rough. As a Mariner fan, it really does make you wish that you could root for another team, cheer on another team, go watch another team. Uh, but you just, you know, in the Northwest, there's nowhere else to go in terms of major league talent. Now, I've personally loved going to minor league games, which there's some mi great minor league teams in the area. Um, and I love college baseball. College baseball uh, is actually my favorite thing to go do and, and watch. But you know, as a Mariner fan, it's rough. It's rough when you don't have a chance for the playoffs. Um, you know, I kind of understood how the Pirates fans felt for so many years when they never made the playoffs. Um, and now they're back to being that direction. So as a Mariner fan, I can tell you that I want to believe, I want to cheer, I want to hope that my team has a chance. But as someone who's followed baseball as long as I have, I know that this year's there's no chance. There's no chance of, of them winning a playoff spot. They're just not going to do it. And, you know, that's why last year, uh, along with a few other reasons, I didn't go to a Mariner game. And the year before that, I didn't go to a Mariner game. These are the first two years in my life that I haven't gone to a game since I was like three years old. I mean, I, I used to take entire weekends. I would go up there and camp and and go to watch games. That'd be my kind of little personal retreat. Um, but I don't do that anymore. I just, there isn't the excitement. Um, the only time I go up and really even have a desire to go watch is when there's a team that I want to go see that's in town, whether it be the Dodgers. Um, I want to go someday see Mike Trout play, uh, which I've never seen at this point. So I want to go see that. But as a Mariner fan, it's tough. It's tough to cheer on the team. It's tough to, tough to support the organization. I mean, I used to wear, I used to have Mariner hats that I wore all the time. I mean, that was, that was my hat that I wore was my Mariner hats. And if you guys have been watching my videos the last, you know, month, two months, you'll realize that I have not worn a Mariner hat, even though I wear, I switch hats like every video. I've got uh, River City Baseball hats. It's the local uh, baseball program that I'm working with, uh, helping out social media wise. I've got the college hats. I've got the Hall of Fame hat. I've got a number of hats that I wear and I change out for all the different videos, but I don't have a Mariner hat. I don't even think I own one anymore because uh, it's just, as a Mariner fan, it's been tough. So I know, guys, this is like the Debbie Downer of videos that I've, been, I've done. Um, but you know what? A lot of people don't understand how rough it is. You know, you get L.A. fans who are complaining that their team's not trading for Mookie Betts and, and signing all these big guys. They've been to the World Series two of the last three years been in the playoffs what the last eight years in a row yes i understand you want to win a world series i get that but I understand there are some of those fans who don't even get to see the playoffs for our home team we don't get to cheer on our team once the season ends we're done we don't get to do any more for our team and we just get to cheer for someone else's team so it's rough you know but at the same time first world problems i know baseball fans deal with it but guys those are my thoughts, my experience being a Mariner fan, a fan who for 19 years hasn't been able to make the playoffs. Um, it is what it is. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All. 
coming to you today with this really sad, depressing video. Thanks for watching it. And guys, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch when the next video comes out. Talk to you later.